Hi all, in this video, let's see how to host our React application in the Firebase hosting. The first step is we need to go to the console.firebase.google.com. So we need to go to this website and log in with your uh, Gmail credentials. So thereafter, you need to create an uh, app. Okay, I'm just naming this app like a uh, Firebase deploy. Okay, once you create this project, let me click continue. Okay, so thereafter, you'll be getting an option to enable the Google Analytics for this project or not. So this is an optional for now. So I'm uh, disabling this option and I'm creating a project in the Firebase. This is the first step we need to do. The second step is uh, like, uh, we'll be having our uh, existing React application or else you can re re really create a, a, a sample React project with NPX create React app as well. Okay, once you are done creating your project, so. Uh, this project is created for us in the Firebase. So let me click continue. Once a project is created in the Firebase, if you click continue, you'll be getting a page like this with your Firebase deploy. This is your project which we have created. To the left, you have hosting. In the navigation link, I'm clicking that. Once you click this, you'll be getting a page like this. Next, you need to click get started. Here, it will be listed a documentation. What all the steps we need to follow? The first step is let me copy this command and let's go back our to our React project. Let me paste this. So here, what we are doing is we are trying to install the Firebase tools. We are trying to install the Firebase tools. Why we are installing them is in order to use the Firebase services, we are installing this Firebase tools. We are installing them as hyphen G. It means we are installing them globally because we need these services out of this project. Right out of this project, we need to use the services and we need to take this project and we need to take uh, keep them post that in the Firebase. Okay, we're not installing this Firebase tools inside this project. So because this becomes overhead to that project because we need to do this outside the project. The hosting is outside the project. So that's the reason we are installing the Firebase tools as a global dependency. Okay. Why we are using this Firebase tools is in order to access all the Firebase services from this project, we are installing this Firebase tools, okay? This is the second step of running the command. So once this command is done, so next click, and next you have one more command called Firebase login. Let me copy this command. So, and uh, let's go back to the project, okay? So yes, uh, this uh, Firebase tools command is done. So let me, paste this command Firebase login. So if you click Firebase login, you'll be given, uh, you'll be getting a link here, okay? Where if you click that link, okay? If you click that link, again, you'll be rerouted to the Firebase and there you can give your authentication, okay? As I have already logged in, it is saying that I am logged in, okay? The next step is you need to do NPM run build. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to create, so an optimized production build. So if you run NPM run build, uh, you'll be getting a new folder called build folder. This folder would be generated. This would be an optimized production build. So we'll be taking this build, this folder build, and we'll keep that in the Firebase hosting. So this is what we are going to do. Yes, this is success, npm run build. So we could able to get an optimized production build folder here. So the next step is we need to do Firebase init. So let me run this command, Firebase init, it means, now we are initializing the Firebase configurations in our project. So whenever, if you get some error like this, just click this link, okay? I'm clicking this link. So you'll be routed to this page, okay? Uh, usually we get this issue. Uh, then just uh, go back. Just if you click that link and uh, route back to this page once again, okay? Now again, try to click the same Firebase init initialization. It means you're trying to initialize the Firebase configurations in your project. You'll be getting, are you you are you are ready to proceed? This, then I clicked yes. Thereafter, it is giving me a couple of options which are present in the Firebase. I want to go to the Firebase hosting. So I have clicked the down arrow and I went to this project, okay? And I'm clicking space bar to select this option. Thereafter, I need to click enter. Next, it is asking me, to where I need to push this React project to uh, in, in the Firebase. So we have already created a project in the Firebase. So this is the project we have created, okay? We have created this project, right? So to this project, we need to move. So that's the reason I need to say, yes, 
use an existing project because we have already uh, given one name. So this is a fire deploy. I think this is a project we have. This is a project we have uh, given uh, uh, created in the Firebase. So now I'm selecting this project. Fine. We, what is the public? Okay. Again, I'm getting this error. So let me go back here. So if you just redirect to this page once again, you'll be getting you, this error would be gone. So somehow this is some configuration issues to my mission, I guess. Mostly you may not get this issue again. So again, uh, once again, I'm uh, doing this Firebase initialization as I'm proceeding and I'm going to the fourth option hosting and I'm selecting spacebar should be clicked here. Thereafter enter. Okay, thereafter I'm going for the use an existing project because we have already created a project in the Firebase and I'm selecting this project and I'm giving the build as a folder name because this is a main folder which we are sending. To the rest of the options, just go keep on click no because you don't want another GitHub, uh, any of the options. So for rest of the options, just go no. The only for the public directly go with the build option. Okay, once the Firebase initialization is completed, you'll be getting two files here. You can confirm that if you get the Firebase RC file and Firebase.json file, then you can conclude that your Firebase initialization is completed. Once this is completed, let's go back to the documentation. So let me click next. So this is the command we need to click Firebase deploy copy. And I'm clicking the Firebase deploy. Once you do this Firebase deploy, your React project, the build folder will be moving to the, oh shit, again, I'm getting the same issue. I think this is something related to my machine. So don't bother about that. Okay, you'll be not facing the same errors again and again. Okay. So once uh, again, uh, I will click the Firebase deploy. Once if you, again, you click this Firebase deploy, Okay, your project, your React build project would be hosted, okay, in the, in the React application. Give me one second, once again, I'm facing the same error. Okay, now let me do again the Firebase deploy. So once it is really deployed, we'll be getting a URL to access that, uh, to access our application. So yes, now it is uh, trying to deploy. It takes some time to deploy our project. So once it is deployed, it will give us a URL to access our application. Yep, let's wait for a second. Yes, this is our application URL. Now, if you access this application, so I'm just copying this and I'm going here, I'm pasting this. So in this way you can host. So this is what our uh, Create React App default application gives. So this is how you can host your React application in the Firebase. Okay, now if you want to do some, uh, he has given the project console as well. Let me take this and let me uh, check what all the configurations we have. So once you go to this project configurations, okay, this is a project configuration folder. So where you have hosted your project. So it will give you a couple of uh, options. So if you go to the hosting, so here you have hosted your this is what you have hosted your application. You can click add custom domain also, and you can add your domain. So for example, you can do something. I have a domain called rethinkingway.com. So if you add some domain and if you click this one, okay, it means what happens is you want to redirect whenever uh, a people uh, click this domain, this will redirect to our application, to this URL. Whenever people click this domain, it will be redirected to this. So if you really have any of the custom domain, you can give that custom domain and continue. Thereafter, you can use your custom domain and you can access your application outside the world as well. So this is how we need to deploy or host our React application in the Firebase. These are the options we can use. Okay. And meanwhile, I got a couple of errors. So that is related to my configuration. So you no, no need to worry if even if you get the same error also just copy this. Okay, and just uh, click that in uh, here and just uh, remove that CLA JSON and go back to this folder. Thereafter, you can run the command once again, it will go uh, everything every command goes in a smooth way once after you do this. Okay, hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.